2016 was one of the most laughable years we've ever had, with a fucking election cycle that left people literally shrieking at the outcome. <laughs> And most people, like me, just didn't give a shit about who won. But it was a very eventful year. A lot of finger pointing, a lot of name calling, and a lot of insults just being slung back and forth to people. It was nuts. And then you got 2017, which is the year of confusion, because I don't even remember what happened in 2017 other than Destiny 2 coming out. Then you have 2018, which was a fucking clusterfuck. This year kind of sucked. We're gonna get all the depressing shit out of the way first. There, of course, things happen. Shootings this year were not that great. There's all the bad shit that happens, and Attica died. So now that all the bad shit's out of the way, we're gonna talk about the bad shit that's not bad shit. Anthem! You fuckers! God damn it, EA! You fucked up a game that could have been great because you basically told Bioware to finish the goddamn game or to fuck off. And they weren't done, but nope. EA didn't give a shit. EA just wanted the game out so they could make money fast because they're a bunch of assholes. And what happens when you just let a fucking company make a game that you own? Oh yeah, Jedi Fallen Order happens, and a good Star Wars game is born. Hmm, EA, it's almost like you can make good games without them being monetized to shit. And then we also have Kappa, which is just basically... It's not that bad. I mean, everything will be fine. In a month. JoJo Part 5 ended this year. That sucked kind of bad. Not the show, just the fact that it ended. And there's no Part 6 announcement, so that's pretty bad. MLP ended this year, and it was pretty depressing, so yeah, there's that too. Blizzard sucking China's big fat communist dick. Yeah. Good job, guys. You got the whole internet to make fun of you, and you got me to make a meme on you. Alright, some things I found bad about 2019, you say? Honestly, I can't find many, mainly because this year has been pretty good to me, uh, other than in my personal life, but that's not what we're talking about. Overall, I'd agree with Fuchsia on Anthem because of the whole fact that they released a game that was basically just a demo and wanted you to pay full price like it was a full game for that. That was a nail in the coffin for EA. Of course, of course I say that, but they're still gonna get a ton of money. 